Here we are for the first time really in human history with something that's going to be far more intelligent than us. Um, so it's not clear to me we can actually control such a thing, but I think we can aspire to guide it in a direction that's beneficial to humanity. Um, but I do think it's one of the existential risks that uh, we face, and it's, it's potentially the most pressing one. I, I don't know what necessarily the fair rules are, but you've got to start with insight before you do oversight. One message that um, I think needs to be heard uh, and discussed more is the limits of the science regarding the safety of AI systems. Right now, we don't know how to build an AI system that will be behaving as intended, in other words, that it can be safe. And we don't even know how to test those systems uh, to make sure they are safe. This is, this, is, this is a major problem because we are building them and uh, we are racing with a competition between companies and countries. So we should agree at the international level that uh, we need to put the bar higher, that companies have to demonstrate in a way that's scientifically sound that their systems are safe before they are built and deployed. The key things is that collaboration is essential. Like You can't have your nationalistic identity playing out in your attitude towards this because AI isn't something that sits within a particular country or boundary. Like It is pervasive. Like We're all operating in a global supply chains and businesses. So that piece has really come through, the idea that there does need to be a level of collaboration. But then also the fact that you've got to have the public sector and the private sector working hand in hand. The public sector tends to be more mindful and cognizant, obviously, around the governance structure and what that might look like, whereas the business and the private side tend to be more responsible for the actual building of the lot of technology, as you would expect. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.